This week on Head for Thursdays, I'm going back to the 90s. Oh? Welcome back to Head First Thursdays. I am Brett Hetherington, owner and director of Head First Studios. And if you grew up in the 90s and spent any time watching TV in the 90s, you probably can tell what I want to talk about from that opening. Now, I've always been someone who cares about sharing uh, educational moments with people. And taking advantage of opportunities to teach where others might not notice them. Now, years ago, when I was still a youth pastor, I had started up a blog because it was the thing to do. And other than my obligatory introductory post of, Hi, I'm on the web. Check out my blog. There's more coming soon. The first post I wrote was all about how I am just like Tim Taylor. Now, Tim is the lead character from Home Improvement. If you're not familiar with it, Home Improvement was a very popular sitcom in the 90s that followed Tim as a father and as the star of a local cable show that was all about, you guessed it, Home Improvement. It's called Tool Time. And they had a lot of the same typical tropes you'll find in sitcoms from the day. They got the three kids, they're all boys. The father is very macho and leaves a lot of the house stuff to the wife. Boys grow up together and they get into shenanigans. Into shenanigans? They get into trouble because of their shenanigans. The neighbor doles out very uh, useful advice. Tim is the consummate klutz, is typically. Uh, saved by his very capable assistant who assists him. Now, I'm a huge fan of Home Improvement. It is the first TV show that I collected in its entirety on DVD. My phone over the years has regularly featured text notifications and ringtones that are lifted directly from the show. It is just hilarious to see someone jump who's never heard that before or wasn't expecting to hear something like that when my phone dings that I got a message. Now, the show took a lot of flack for its premise. Uh, Tim is a typical macho man surrounded by macho friends from construction companies and other tool men and uh, typically makes fun of Al the assistant for being a more sensitive guy. I'm sure it takes a lot more flack today especially with the discussion that's ongoing about the fluidity of gender and what it means to be masculine but I want to take just a couple minutes and point out some of the ways that I actually look up to the character of Tim Allen even 20, almost 30 years later. I get a lot of guidance for how to act as a father and a husband from Tim. Now, I must state, this is not my only source of guidance. This is just one that I like to pull from now and then. Because Tim screws up a lot. And a lot of the times it's not because he's trying to screw up. He's actually trying to do something good and he just doesn't know quite how to achieve that goal. For instance, there is one episode where Tim is trying to make his son's first boy-girl party the best it can be. So he builds a dance floor in the basement and he waxes it because he wants it to be perfect. But he puts on way too much wax and the girl that his son has a crush on winds up spraining her ankle. So he has to fix that. But in all of this, in all of these episodes where Tim screws up because he tried to do the right thing, he learns something. Tim shows the ability to see that he was wrong by the end of just about every episode. It was the 90s, everything was wrapped up in 22 minutes. But Tim is willing to listen to guidance and advice, especially from his neighbor Wilson. And he might not always get it right, but he listens and he takes it to heart. And you can tell in a lot of these episodes through eight seasons, he truly does love his family and wants to put them first. Yeah, he loves his hot rods, and he makes jokes about how he loves them more than he loves his kids. But he passes on what it is to be a man to his sons. He adores his wife, and many, many times he goes out of his way to show her that he loves her. And yeah, sometimes he doesn't do it. Sometimes he screws up and gets an anniversary present from the gas station. But other times, he takes a flight to another city far away just to pick up a first edition book that he knows his wife would love. Long story short, Tim shows just how important and integral it is to be a successful man by listening to the advice of others and being willing to admit when you've been wrong. I get a lot of good ideas that I'm sure I screw up in implementing them. 
I am not the perfect father. I am not the perfect husband. But I'm trying, and I'm growing, and I'm learning along the way. I'm a lot like Tim Taylor. In fact, I am Tim Taylor, just without the cable access TV show. And the need to soup up every engine around me to 10 times its power. Because we all know life needs what? More power. So that's all I have for this week. I uh, hope you enjoyed the story. Hope you enjoyed the peek into my life. But you keep watching, and I will keep sharing stories.